shop on Etsy and I have received one order so far and I just received another one. And so today I'm going to dye the yarn that I'm going to dye for this order. It's called Salt in my Solid Collection. These yarn colors I spent they're kind of a few years in the making of learning how to dye yarn and learning how to dye solid yarn by mixing different colors together. So mixing different dye colors from Dharma Acid Dye. I first began mixing the primary colors, sunflower yellow, fluorescent fuchsia, and Caribbean blue. These are my dye books. <laughs> learning to dye over the years. And so the one at the top, um, these nice, subtle natural looking green greeny blue hues um these are the these are actually the colors that i have dyed with the primaries this color here is caribbean blue fluorescent fuchsia and sunflower yellow and if you mix all these colors together you get these kind of nice natural colors i never really ended up liking the fuchsia the fuchsia takes a long time to go into the yarn so I would like to redo this entire book and switch it out for a different color. Deep Magenta or Fire Engine Red. I have another book of primary secondary color. So I did not add a third color to it because when you add the third color to it, it really tones down the color, which is great for beautiful toned down colors. And so these colors are basically just <clears throat> Caribbean blue and fluorescent fuchsia. And then I have sunflower yellow and fluorescent fuchsia for example um, and then maybe just some yellow and some oranges sunflower yellow for fluorescent fuchsia all that and so that is a, just a book of all the primary colors and they're all really bright so I call them my brights you can layer your dye colors and I had this epiphany like oh my gosh I've been trying to dye solid yarn for a long time by mixing mixing dyes and it's not that I need the yarn to go completely solid uh, it doesn't matter if it's semi-solid or if there's some tonal variation in the yarn, but because the dye colors bind to the fiber at different times, some take longer than others, especially the blue, for some reason, dyeing solid colors by mixing dyes just seems to be more difficult, especially when you get into dyeing darks because there's three different colors in there, and so they could all separate and move around in the dye bath by layering the dyes, and so instead of mixing all my colors together and just pouring it in and letting the yarn soak it up, I first apply the first color, the first primary, and then the second primary, and then the third primary. The colors that I have on my table are meticulously chosen colors. I kind of started off inspired by Drops yarn because they have just beautiful colors and they have a full color range. And obviously they've been in the business for a while, so they know that these colors are people's favorite colors. So I went with that as a starter base and picked out all my colors and aimed to get all those colors. And then I added some more of my own that I absolutely love. Some of those crazy weird colors, like these green hues that you're not sure if it's green, yellow, or brown. It's called salt. It's one of my solids and it's a very simple color to make. Um, the issue with dyeing pastels and light colors is that there's only so much dye in the dye bath. So when you put 100 grams of yarn into the dye bath, it's going to take up that color right away. When I put the yarn in the dye bath and I have a really, really light color like this with minimal dye amounts, and there's only two different colors in this yarn. There's a brown and a pink hue or the red hue that I'm using, cayenne red and teddy bear brown so when i put my white yarn into this dye bath there's just not a lot of dye and so i'm gonna put my yarn in the dye bath all at the same time i'm gonna make sure i kind of move it around a little bit for um, a little bit for it to pick up that all that color and i'm also going to preheat my yarn so that um, it's warm and the fibers open up so it can take all that color in all evenly as possible. You will like it. It's very lovely. It's super soft. So my yarn has been sitting for half an hour in some warm water. So I have zip tied the yarn and I'm going to lay it into this new water where I'm going to heat it up. 
I just want to open up all the fibers so that when I apply the dye, it can spread out evenly across all the fiber. I have 100 grams in this one tray, and I just don't think I would add another 100 grams into this tray unless I had a higher tray so that it, there was just more space. And so I recommend if you're starting off dyeing not to buy such a short pan. I would get one that's much deeper. This is good for 100 grams, and then um, if I had more orders, I'd probably want to get another one, which I do have another one. Um, and I do have another burner as well, so I could do two at the same time. Now it's in there, and I'm just going to heat it up. While it's heating, I'm going to prepare my dye mix. It's just so warm. I just want to keep my hands in there. So nice. So I have my color here. I have a little sample in my um, dye book. This is a really cute little wool book that I learned to make super awesome. So I have put some of the colors in here that I started making and so I'm just going to use the one from here because I now have all of my colors digitally on my phone in Canva um, in a big PDF. I'm not going to open that since I'm using my phone to record. There are two colors in this color, Cayenne Red from Dharma Dye and Teddy Bear Brown from Dharma Dye. I have a micro scale and the way that I do my dyes is very simple. I used to mix solutions with water and have them ready, but that was just such a mess and I never used all of the solution and so I had all this extra dye and water sitting around. Now I don't. Now I actually just have the dye containers just on a shelf ready to go and I just weigh out my dye powder. With weighing of dye powder and with hand dye and yarn, the colors that I dye now might not be the exact same weight as next time I dye it, so it's always good to dye all the yarn in a batch, one solution, one batch of dye, and then dye all four of those with that dye. That is 0 0.02 grams of Teddy Bear Brown, and so it's a light color, it's a very small amount, so I have 0 0.02 grams and I'm going to put that in my measuring cup. Close up my dye so it doesn't get all moist. And then I'm going to take some boiling water and pour it in. And then I have this meat baster tool. It's just a quite a nice tool. I like press it down and stir it and give it a really good pasty stir. Just going to lift out my yarn. Pour the teddy bear brown in. And as you can see, it's just not a lot of color. It's a very subtle amount. 30 seconds at least of mixing. Now I'm going to place my yarn back in. So now that the dye is in, I'm going to add the acid. very happy with that and so now I'm going to wait until the yarn has taken up all the teddy bear brown dye and then I'm going to add my cayenne red dye. It's a very easy recipe it's just another 0.2 grams. I'm gonna lift my yarn back out of the pan And now I'm ready to dip my yarn back in. And there is already some acid in here left over from last time. And so I'm sure that red has just picked up in the yarn quite quickly. So I'm not going to add any more for now. Just in peace, you poor little soul. Little bug there. Just wanted to be warm. Very tempting just to get my hands in there and just start moving it around. I'm going to add my last bit of acid and I like to mix that with some water. So I'll just give that a stir. So my yarn has cooled down and I'm gonna lift it out. So Dylan has given the wool a wash. 
little bit of a rinsey and we're just gonna hang that up now. Thanks, Dilly. You're such a good little yarn dyer. We will see what it looks like when it's done. Now my yarn is just damp and I find with mohair yarn that it all kind of sticks together like this, even when it's dry. I did not stir it in the pot very much. So now my solution to this is just to put it back on the winder and wind it into a ball and then wind it back into a skein. And that's my solution for now. And it makes everything nice and fluffy. And then I'm gonna finish drying the yarn as room to poof back out. Thank you.